If you haven't been living under a rock, you might have heard about the second season of the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc. The first season was already hype as hell, but the second season is going to be even more insane. We left off with Uryu and Ichigo both finding out their origin, and that plays a huge role in the upcoming season with it all tying back to the main conflict. Having watched Bleach when I was younger and stuff, this nigga Uryu, he was always like a side character. But we get to see this guy have a huge impact with Ichigo and you watch. Bro is literally set up to be Yuwatch's successor in the first episode of the new season. Like We don't exactly know why just yet, but it's clearly going to all come to an end involving Ichigo and Uryu being on opposite sides. But speaking of that guy, Ichigo, this nigga specifically gets in his bag with his true powers and you know we get to see his Bankai, sort of. As we know, this guy Ichigo, he was low-key the original run and dunk man. He didn't even have a good understanding of his powers with Zangetsu. To be completely honest, he didn't even know who Zangetsu really was. We're gonna finally see what he can really, really do. And I'm talking about his Bonkai specifically. But speaking of Bonkais, we get to see a lot of them this season. I'm not gonna touch on who specifically, but just know that it's a lot of fan favorite guys and people we've been waiting for a long time. Because the Quincy's can steal Bonkais, we're gonna get to see the Soul Reapers training and honing to master their Shikais. One problem that a lot of characters in Bleach had, specifically like Toshiro, was that their Shikai was just the worst version of their Bankai. There was almost never a point in which their Shikai was needed once they unlocked their Bankai. And I'm gonna be honest, Kubo doing this in the last arc was high key genius because now we have characters like Byakuya, Toshiro, Renji, and Rangiku all engaging in fights and where they get to use their Shikais in super unique ways. Like we actually get training arcs for those people where they're going back and learning to use their Shikais in ways they never thought of. Because they were like, damn, I don't have my Bankai or I won't have my Bankai potentially. So let me really make sure that I know what I'm doing. Like, let me really understand what my Bankai and stuff has in store. We already had like the first fight between the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers. And obviously we all know that the Reapers got their asses handed to them. They lost their leader. Ichigo lost his Bankai. Basically, it was an overwhelming ass whooping. But these niggas ain't gonna go like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta spin the block for Yamamoto. And we're gonna see round two of that. And this time, these niggas are training just a little bit more. So we're gonna really get to see characters like Kenpachi, you know, Biaki. Like, we're gonna really get to see those guys in their bags for this second season. Like, it's gonna be really, really tough to see. A couple months ago, I made a video about how anime end badly. And I use Bleach as one of the examples, saying the Thousand Year Blood War arc didn't really end well. A big reason why Bleach ended badly was because one, Kubo was sick, and two, he was kind of, you know, forced to rush the series. And that caused it to end really badly. Because I think uh, three or so years before the, the series ended, he even he said in the, the Fulbring arc that he had like 10 years worth of content in just that. So the fact that he says that, and then less than half a decade later, this, the manga's over, it's like, damn, he had a low-key cut corners. But with Kubo obviously having a hand in working on it, we're going to have a chance to see Bleach more of how it was supposed to always be. Like, in the trailer, we hear that nigga Shinji say Bonkai. And obviously, you might think, oh, that's whatever. Like, that's not a big deal. But it's very important to know that in the actual manga, we never got to see that. Like, Shinji never used Bonkai. I think it was actually in, like, a light novel we got after this, the manga ended that Shinji's Bonkai was basically not only revealed but shown. And if we're getting shit like his Bonkai... That got me thinking about a lot of other things in the anime that we may get that the manga did not. And that shit is mind-blowing to me. Like, we could get the remaining Bonkais we, we haven't seen. We might be able to finally see what Ichigo's true powers are. Like, shit, if we're lucky, we might even get some stories involving characters that we didn't get to see in the original manga. This is honestly the biggest test for the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Because from what I know, the first half of the arc was always known as amazing. Like, everyone kind of already loved it. It was known as, okay, this was, it was really, really good, even in the manga. It was only the second part that got a little jumbled up and rushed, obviously, because we know what happened to Kubo's health and whatnot. So I'm paying close attention to what's going to be added to it. Like, because there's a chance that not only can the anime surpass the manga, but it could be something super, super special. They end this arc properly, like the way Kubo wants it to be ended, and Bleach could be looked at way more positively. Not only does this change like the anime community, in my opinion, but... Bleach can, can be more positively viewed. Amongst the big three, like Bleach probably has the worst rep. But if like, this anime ends really well, then people can look at the, the body of work that is Bleach and be like, damn, Bleach is low-key hard most of the way through type shit. It wouldn't be this anime that kind of fell off after the Eisen arc, which is a lot of, what a lot of people kind of say. The reason why I think this can change the anime community is because a lot of anime kind of have weird manga endings. But if we're getting like 
I mean, this is obviously not gonna happen for every series, but if we're getting new animes for some shows and the the creator is a part of it, we might be able to get better endings. But either way, it's gonna be peak, so you don't wanna miss it. We're gonna get to see a lot of great Bleach and anime content. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more. But that's all. I'm out, so peace.